the other thing is like these glasses people want to know um i mean people always say to me oh i love your glasses and you're so different and blah blah, blah. and i i have to always say well i bought them as a joke uh, one day during the pandemic i took a train to visit a friend of mine who had just recently been released from the hospital and i was both nervous uh, wearing a mask one of the few times i ever wore one yeah yeah whatever and um it was around may end of may 2020 and i'm on the train from new york to upstate and i don't know i was just browsing um instagram and i got a, a sponsor an ad of these glasses and i thought like oh these are going to be fun so i ordered them right and then at the same time my mom was developing a lot of uh, her uh, her alzheimer's um at the beginning we thought that she had something called hydrocephalia which is like water in the brain but it ended up being um alzheimer's so uh, intuitively i bought these glasses because i thought they were fun too when i started wearing them it, it always made people laugh <laughs> and there was a way of connecting through them but the most important beautiful thing is that i started uh, calling my mom via facetime and she would at the very beginning always make something about the shape she would say oh baby have you noticed that one of the eyes is round and the other one is square and i was like oh really let me see so i would just play with her and she would ask me the same question over and over every day and i thought that that was a, a fun way to um connect with her so that that was important um and then i kept on losing them and then ordering new glasses so i end up like after two years like okay these are my glasses and i try buying different frames but for now let's say that i am framed by my own framing and so people identify me with this you know square and in in circle and in a way, it's easy way when, when I show up like that, people know, oh, she's a little bit different or she doesn't mind being different. And, you know, bottom line, I'm not I am different because you're different and you're different and everybody is different. We're all different. And that's my whole point It's like how how many more years are we going to accept uh, the fact that everything in society is making us feel that we ought to be like this group or that group and and it's asking everybody to be identified by something so they can be labeled and then classified and then put into a shelf 